Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. Payout time here. I am on Prince Edward Island, uh, really close to the Atlantic Ocean. It's actually just over, right that way, right over there. And uh, yeah, I unfortunately will not be able to do Ram's Wednesday live stream this week, uh, just because of uh, work and internet capabilities. But I do want to put this vlog up, because uh, I know there are Ram fans that are maybe feeling a little down about the season, but I, I, I issue this challenge that uh, we can still cheer on our team. And uh, you know, I, I think of if you know, I was I, I was talking to Ram Showcase and uh, Ram's house about this that you know we only have a few months, a few more games left with the Rams because they're probably not making the playoffs, which means it's going to be a long off season. So we got to be thankful we can cheer on our team. Uh, you know, for as long as we can, because the season's half over. And uh, I, that brings me into the expectations for this LA team has changed. Yes, uh, where we came into the year with Super Bowl aspirations, and that clearly, well, that did not work out. Uh, we are now at a place where we have to realistically look to develop talent. We have to learn how to win again. We have to, you know, get our young players lots of reps. I'm just walking downstairs here. Oh, jump. Whoa. <laughs> Survived it. And uh, that's just the reality of what we are doing right now. We're not winning games, and we need to relearn how to win. We need to see our young players, especially on offense. Ben Skoranek, let's see him continue to develop. Van Jefferson, we're going to need to make some decisions about him. Glad he got the tutty last week. Uh, Kyrene Williams... Like, okay, it was great. He looked good when he was in there, but we got to see more if, if he's going to happen. Daryl Henderson, Cam Akers, their jobs are definitely on the line. And, uh, you know, with when you have the worst run game in the NFL, you know, the, you have to look at that. Clearly, you know, the offensive line, you know, we've had 10 different combinations. And so we understand that that's kind of the go-to reason of why the run game has not been that good. Allen Robinson, it's been a disappointment, right? And you know, we need to make a decision. Are we going to look to try and trade him to clear up some cap space next year? And I know that that sounds shocking, considering we just you know signed him this off season. But it's been a it's been a disappointment. And I, even I, I think too, like our backup quarterback position with Wolford and Perkins. If Stafford's going to miss some more time. It's an opportunity for them to show that you know they've improved or that they are NFL caliber, you know, quarterbacks that can at least in a backup capacity help you win games. So there's a lot to do uh, in this off season, uh, and and you know before this season is over, there's a lot of decisions that the Rams will have to make. And I don't know if Sean McVay is thinking about all this. I'm sure he is. I'm sure Les Snead has got his GM hat on. But uh, as a fan, I, I'm, you know, I'm in the place now where, okay, we're back to having to decide what's going to happen here. We're back to needing to make some tough decisions. And I just don't know what to, I don't know what to think. I, I don't know what to think until we see more on the field. The reality is every time Tutu Atwell isn't active for a game, that's discouraging. That, that bust label that's on him gets a little bit bigger every time the you know the game day roster comes up and he's not active for it lance mccutcheon if we're going to develop him you know clearly he looks great in the preseason but let's give him a chance let's give him some passes let's see if he can make a difference in an nfl game right we have some quality opponents coming up it, when i look at our schedule it does scare me you know to think that we might not get that many more wins this year I spe you know, I think we can beat the Saints. We have the Raiders, but outside of those two games, I'm nervous about the teams we have to play. So, I'm hopeful we get a couple more wins. I always am. I'm not a fan of tanking. I'd rather your team, you know, if you had a bad start to the year like the Rams, finish strong and do what it takes to learn how to win again, so th so that you can enter into next season firing on all cylinders. Anyway, that's going to do it for me from the beautiful PEI. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, again, no uh, live streams tonight, but uh, we will definitely have a watch party for the Rams-Sans games. As always, 
Oh, pardon, pardon me. As always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. Let's go Rams! Woo! I hope we beat the Saints.